That's one small step for man, a giant leap for mankind. Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. Today I'm playing a game that you might not have heard too much about. It's of course Space Engineer. It's only just recently came out, and it's not even in full release yet, but it's a very interesting and different experience from the standard sort of things you can do. So, basically, you can build stuff like this. You can build three sorts of stuff like this. You can build small ships like this one over here. You can build big ships like that one over there, and you can do a hell of a load of other things. It just depends on how creative you actually are. Let's get in this, see if we can have a fly of it. So, this is basically how it feels. The, the thrusters seem to be a bit weird. Ooh. Okay, we're going to get out of that for the moment. So, I've just started playing this. I've literally got in it for two minutes, and I, I'm loving the feeling of it. Jesus, it's drifting off into space, yeah, so that your inertia is pushing it out because there's no thrusters on this side pushing it back down. So that'll just keep going and going and going. So what I'm going to do is I've got some ideas for a ship that I'm going to build. I don't know if you've um, seen the Serenity ship, but basically two big engines on both sides and then what we're going to do is a bit like this one, two big engines like that. Um, we're going to have a big cargo bay here and then I think we'll have like a nose cone sort of thing, but I don't know. I'll get back to you in a few minutes, or however long it takes me to build my first ship. So this is the ship that I decided to come up with. So we've got the bridge up here, we've got a cargo bay that runs across the back there, we've got a front entrance where we can land fighters, we've got a rear tower area so we can keep lookout, we've got machine gun mounts at numerous locations and rockets, we've also got this lovely cargo bay that I'm about to drop right into now. Drop that on, drop the jetpack off. So here's the cargo bay, we've got turrets, we've got all the cargo containers here, full of all the loot from our travels. We'll have a quick look at the bridge. So we head up here, and we look left and right, we've got these nice little pillars that are holding the place up. We've got routes up to the gun turrets on the roof, we've got the actual main control tower and we've got a few extra there just in case you want to drive it off in a different direction, or maybe even if you ram the front off the ship. So let's continue on. So after we've done that, what we've basically got here at the back, we can go up to that conning tower. There's nothing much special up there, so I'm going to go down and show you the cargo bay. So we'll have to climb down, it looks. There we are, climbing down the ladder. Got to climb down, and then we can drop as well. Oh, no, we we'll just dropped. There we go. Right, so this is the cargo bay. Obviously just room for storage in case we need it. Anything we get on our travels, we can put in here. Uh, we've got some more cargo bay here, and we've got crew quarters here with little hammocks and tents that they can sit in. So, I didn't just build that, I decided that I'd build something else as well. And I built this sort of nice plateau space station. Oh, by the way, I've named the ship The Kitchen, because I decided to paint it like this little pattern stuff, so it looks more like a kitchen tile wall. So, moving on from that anyway, this is Raker Base, that's what I decided to call it. Um, it's got loads of different cool things. I'll show you around it right now. I'll tell you about a bit of my inspiration as well. So, I wanted to build it so it was as modular as possible and it could like move around, you could move different parts around, you could park ships everywhere. So this yellow area I decided was the actual storage and this is where all the storage units come in. So imagine a big supply truck or supply ship comes in, it offloads its supplies here. We've got a supply lift that actually works. I'll show you around the rest of the bottom deck first. We've got another landing pad, and that's about it. So let's go up to the second floor using our lift. So it's pretty simple. You get in the lift, like so. It's just like a vehicle, really. And you power the lift up, so you could bring your supplies up to the top deck. Say you've got some more loot after you've been scavenging or something. So let's stop the lift here, and let's get ourselves out. So here's two landing pads for the storage area, so if I want to store an aircraft, I can just bring them in here, drop them in there. Um, we've also got a way that leads up to the top, we'll have a quick look at that. So the idea of this base is like, say you're going planet to planet, and you're looting loads of supplies, you're taking loads of equipment, and you're getting loads of ore. This is a place where you can bring it back to, and you can keep it pretty much safe and locked down. So that was the idea behind this. I've not decided though yet if I should build a big hangar for the big ship. I'm not too sure about that. So this leads us up to the main hallway. On the right here is where we'll store all our um, anti-aircraft missiles and missile stations here we've got. 
And let's have a quick nip down. So here's the main corridor. That room at the end there, I'll talk about that in a minute, but we'll have a look at the refuge section. So in here, this is where all the ores and all supplies are brought to be processed. So we've got the refineries here that will eventually process the ore when the game gets that update. And here we have the landing pads, and we have little entrances so you can go and park your vehicle underneath. So if, they say, the base is under attack, the ore refinery or the, the storage vehicle like this one here won't be destroyed. I'll show you how it works. I'll show you the hangars, and I'll see if I can actually navigate it. So engine's on with a Y. We're going to bring it to a gentle lift. I'm going to bring it forward. We're going to use the third person there and cheat a little bit. So we're just above the area. Perfect. And that's the cockpit. And we need to lower it down. Bring it down nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Alright, so that's where we need to go down now. So it's simple as pushing that key. And we should drift down there. You just got to be... Oh! Be careful, Aaron. Be careful. It's a tight fit, but I'm, I'm going to make a few more of these ore refinement vehicles just like this one. So it's not going to need to be any bigger than this, and saving space is probably pretty important. And this is the hangar that we're going to reverse into. Let's reverse back into that. There we go. Nicely done. Nice and steady, Aaron. And we'll just lower this down and we'll shut the engine off. So, say the base was under attack. Bring it down here to shut the engine off. We can store the ore refinement vehicles in this little hangar area very nicely. We've got viewports as well, so we can bring it up back when it's ready. So there's a few more hangars. I've not yet filled them, and uh, there's another hangar there and so on that I'm going to fill with more vehicles eventually when I start building a few more. Moving up here, this is back into the ore refinement move that I just showed you. But let's go back and have a look at the rest of the ship. So we've got a little desk there as well that we can watch people at the work. And this is the main hallway once again, so we'll take a right. So the idea of this platform was um, a place to park big ships. So say I'm working on a current ship, I can park it here and dock it with the space station. Um, and then just like drop supplies, move things in and do it like so. So here's a big pad with all nice there. So I'm going to bring a big ship in there. I dock my... Um, I've not docked my other ship, I just left it out there because I was a bit scared of ramming into the space station because I've already damaged it twice by hitting two of these boulders that are floating around. We'll have a quick look at the command center anyway. So the idea of this place is to be as tight as possible and I've tried to put a roof on as much as I can as well because I don't want like just things wandering in when the when it's actually fully done. So here's like the observation area. We've got a radar array there. Uh, we've got, this is the upper hangar, these black pads is where I'm going to keep military vehicles like um, fighters and things to protect this actual base. So that's going to be a pretty cool idea I think. And down here we finally have the hangar area. And this is the hangar area once again for more fighters and more vehicles for the um, defending of this actual area. So that's about it so far, that's about as far as I've got. There's my ship sitting beautifully out there. All it needs to be done is maybe build a hangar for that. I'm not too sure. I'm going to definitely expand this place, though. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'll do with it. I might end some more areas. I might start working on some new vehicles. But I'll see you next time.